and good evening to everyone. This is Joanna, and tonight I plan to try to do a stamping demo with these two plates that I have here. I have Flowers 19, which has hearts, and Flowers 13, which I had said that this one right here kind of reminded me of the, I think it's Sure Cotton and Lemonade bottle that I have. When I first saw this bottle, I think I had said that I wish that I had a nail stamping plate like this. And this one's kind of close. Um, it's not exact, and I wish it was a little bit smaller, but it is very similar there. Let's see if I can find the parts. This piece right here, I thought there was a little bit more. Mostly all this area right in here. It's really similar to that. It really is, especially like right here. And I wanted a few more of these, like the green one and the peach one, and I ended up missing out, but this is the one I wanted the most. So we're going to start off with this one right here, and we're going to see how this stamps. And my little setup here isn't completely prepared. There are several things I couldn't find, and I've got a lot of stuff around me. The polish that I have on here, if you can see that, is a hasty application of, um, looks like glow with the lava flow. And this looks like it dries a little bit darker than what it is, which I like that. And I don't know if you can tell what it is I'm trying to show you or not here. And then I had topped that with fairy dust just because... And then I have some posh top coat here. So we're going to see. I'm going to start off with my Rika White. There is a lot of noise outside in my hall right now. So I might have to pause for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to see here. Try this white. And I'm going to try to go for this side here and hope my phone don't flip over. I also cannot find my little mats that I use and to make matters worse I have some paper towels in my closet and I tried to spear the tail end of the package with a mop handle and then instead of it being picked up it just fell further in the back of my closet and I can't get to it and I really 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 hate that so I don't even know if that picked up good or not we're gonna try this again That looks a little bit better. Uh, that's what that looks like. I'm going to try this with black. See how that does. Because we know it's not the stamper because I use this stamper quite a lot. So I'm going to go for another area here. Again, I'm going to go down here along the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'm having trouble. Now the bottom of my stamper wants to come out. This didn't do that last year, I have to say, and I've asked this before. I wonder if these stampers, by any chance... Just shrink a little bit with air from being out all the time because I was using this thing hot and heavy I know last summer for sure and I never had any issues with anything coming out okay that's what my Mundo de Unis one yeah that looks a little bit better. So we're going to do another one with that black polish. And I'm going to try to pick an area here within this butterfly at the bottom section. And I think a lot of my trouble here right now is all of my black, as you can see, 
needs to be replaced. And like I said, I have not found my new Rikas. There we go. And I'm going to try another one in white just because. And like I said before too, I'm not crazy about my Rika white. I'm not crazy about my Mundo de Unis white. I'm kind of partial to the Conad white. But I do plan to get one of the newer bottles of the um, Mundo de Unis white. And I need to use this Rika more because I started off using the black one so much that I think I got kind of partial to that. I'm going to try to see if I can get these flowers right here. So it is picking up. And there we go. So, so far. And I must say, I am so worried right now about turning something over here. It's not even funny. I need to clear this whole area up. So we're going to do one more in white. And then I'm going to see about picking a couple of images up for you down here. I had hoped, though, when I saw this plate, that the carriage and the horse that's on here... From the pictures, I thought that it was going to be nail size, but it's not. It's bigger than the nail. But the carriage is a nice size if you like to do the jewelry with the nail stamping um, stuff. And if this is another one of those nights where I sound like luster, <laughs> I think I'm trying to say. It is because this is one of those work days where I've gotten off work this morning and tried to rest. And my son was coming over for dinner, an early dinner, or kind of a lunch dinner type thing. And he didn't wait for me to call him like I normally do. I must have just fallen asleep after getting home at 8. I must have just fallen asleep at 11. And he was knocking on my door, and that's what woke me up. And, of course, I wasn't going to send him away. But talk about being mad at my child secretly. I was so tired and so sleepy and it's weird because I know we don't know when we sleep but we kind of feel like we know when we must have been falling asleep and we were sleeping good <laughs> and I have been up ever since. Usually I have to call him and call him and call him or he comes too late or too early and this time he did and told me he left me several messages and I'm like well hun if I don't answer them obviously I'm not up. But what are you going to do? I'd rather have him come in and me be tired than to send him off. And I am off for the next three days. So it's not like I have to go to work the next day or something. But that's our kids. <laughs> Just like when they're babies and they want to eat. Their timing is horrible for us. But we had a good dinner. I think, what did I make? I made like oven fried pork chops. With that little oven fry mix. And then I did like mashed potatoes. I bought a peach pie and baked it. And then I think I made that herbed corn on the cob that I like. So I am going to see what else I can pick up here. Like right in the center of this butterfly. We're going to see. And this little polish is on its last legs. I had it, didn't use it, got a few good uses out of it, and now it too it's starting to dry up. But these are pretty images. I just wish they were a little bit smaller. Get one more, and then I'm going to move on to the next plate. The yelling outside of my door. There was some kind of a tragedy that happened out here. That'll be on the news, um, and it involved a 17-year-old, and it is not good, and it ended pretty badly. I don't know the whole story, but apparently my son knew the 17-year-old. And whoever that is outside my window that's yelling, I don't know if they knew him personally or they're upset over the situation, but it's pretty bad. 
Okay, now I'm going to move over to this plate here. And again, my runaway stamper. This is what the images look like. So now we're going to try this one. And this one is mainly hard. So I'm worried about tearing my nail off here. That's kind of jagged on that edge. I did have the very corner of my index finger because I had some peeling. I think what I had was a crack because I haven't had my nails to peel in quite a while. But I had what looked like the layers of a crack. And then that could possibly peel. So here you go. Sorry about the glare. I'm going to use this hand for this. And I'm going to see if I need to do anything with this or if it will pick up. We're going to see. Now, I haven't cleaned this plate yet. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. I need to take these particular two plates and I think I would use color. Like I don't really want to stamp these in black or white like when I do an actual look. I think I would like to pull out some colored polish and get creative with some of my Mundo de Unis colors um, and see how that turns out. See what happens with that. Okay, and I like these plates. I just don't know what they're a knockoff for because I had said I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy knockoffs on purpose, but these particular plates I did like. And right before I said that, I had mentioned that there were two plates that were possibly knockoffs that I did like. But I did not know where to find the actual plates from. Or I didn't know like where these images were from. Like I said, a lot of plates appeared to be dupes of Bundle Monster plates and of um, Mundo. De, I'm sorry, Moyu plates and some of the Born Pretty store plates. And I did not know per se what plates. And I had the Dream Girl plates, so I don't even know if they're similar either. So we're going to do these two. And I'm going to do this in black. And again, I do, though, wish that some of these images were smaller. That's the only thing I hate about some of these plates. They put these beautiful images on their plates. And then they are too big for the nail. See, that's like in between. Let's see. Trying to find something that was smaller. But yeah, I'm pretty tired here right now. But it's alright. I've got two days to get some rest. Now what I'm going to do with my black or whatever black I can manage to get out of here. I'm just going to start picking up some images for you to see on the stamper. And then I will stop and bid everyone a good night unless I come back with something else. I'm in my pajamas. Usually I'm not in my pajamas too much when I'm doing a video, but I'm not showing anything. So, <laughs> In fact, I need some new pajamas. I like the kind of pajamas that you can have on and people can come in and you don't have to go run and change. Whatever that's called. I like those. That heart right there is pretty. I don't know if you can see that. But it's pretty. I want to try to get this area down here. For you. Let's see if I can. If I could like do this in gold and black, I love that. I love that connected heart right there. I don't know what I want to do. I just know that if I wear a look from these particular plates, I definitely would like for it to be colors like 
a pretty polished color and then some kind of color on top like maybe peach and brown okay here's this one again so you can see that and look at this I make a huge mess let's see I'm gonna try to go up here in this corner over here this one seems to be the one that has more polish in it than any of them another one see that's very detailed and then I want to get these pieces of hearts over here in the middle so I like these plates and I'm definitely I'm going to try to do something with these, but if anyone does make any plates similar to these, I hope they will consider making the hearts or things just a little bit smaller. Because some of these plates, they make these real pretty images and they have like these pictures of the turtles or, you know, the plate itself is a design, but then they make them too big for the nail. Like something like this, just a little bit smaller. What I would like to see, I don't know if anybody has it or if anybody knows, like a paisley heart type design, you know. I don't know how to explain it. Let's see, I'm going to get one more in this area here. Try to. And there we go. So they are picking up and they are nice. And that concludes this demo of these two flower plates. So until the next time, everyone have a great day. Eventually, I'm going to come back and do a demo with, I think I said this set right here. I like this one better than the one with the yellow and the greens. But I do like both of them, but this will be the one I want to demo. I want to see how this does with the water marbling. I almost said water stamping, but yes, I need to go to sleep. But that was it. So until the next time, everyone have a great evening.